I might be wearing the same clothes from last week because this is just the same week and I recorded everything at the same time. Or I might just like this shirt a lot. Either ways, you will never know. <laughs> Hey, what up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge and this is a Craft During Training. Today, like I mentioned in the intro, today is a sequel to last week's video in which I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own CD slipcase like this one. I'm really excited about this because I think that the slipcase makes the CD come to life and look even more professional and I'm really happy I was able to do this in the first try. Usually most of my videos take me up to two to three tries until I get it right. This time it was just one try and I succeeded. So I'm really happy to finally bring this out to you guys. It's a very simple tutorial, but like I mentioned, I believe it's going to add the um to certain projects of yours. So I'm really happy. You can make them for your personalized CDs or for CDs you already have and you just want to add the sleep case. They will look really good. This sleep case in particular is just the one where you can pull the CD from either side. Next week, Maybe I do not make any promises because y'all know that I disappear for like eight months. Um, maybe there's going to be a different type of sleep case that has been requested a lot. Um, no promises yet again, but hopefully it will be up next week. But for now, this will be the sleep case that I will show you how to make. So without being said, let's get on with the tutorial. Start off by going into the description of this video and click on the link that is available for you. This will take you to my OneDrive folder. Here, you will find three folders. Select the one named Templates. Once inside of the Templates folder, select the file Slipcase V1 and download it. Proceed to open it using Photoshop. After the file has been opened, it should look like this. The top is the back cover where you normally find the track listing and it has to be flipped and the bottom is a cover. The two lines in between the cover and the back cover are kind of like spines where you can put the name of the album slash artist if you wish and the one on the bottom is the flap so you don't need to add design there if you don't want to. Once you've designed it, you should have something like this. Make sure the back marks are set at the top of the layer and then proceed to merge everything together. Leave Photoshop aside for now and go to the description of this video and click on the link once again. This time, select the folder called Paper Sizes and select and download the size legal and open it using Photoshop. Make sure to flip it 90 degrees to the left to have it vertically. Go back to your design file, select the image, and then copy it. Return to the legal size file and paste your slipcase design. It should place itself in the middle. If your image is white or whitish, try painting the background a light color to make easier to cut later on. And once you have it ready, print it out. Once it has been printed into legal size cardstock paper, it should look something like this. Since slipcase do get a real deal of managing, since you need to slip the CD out of the case, we need to protect it. You can add contact paper to cover your slipcase to ensure it lasts longer. Once the paper has been covered with contact paper, cut it out. Don't forget the little triangles on the bottom. After cutting everything that needs to be cut, mark the folds and proceed to make the folds. After the folds have been marked, it's time to bring the slipcase together. On the top where we put the glue, it's important to either use a glue that sticks to plastic, since contact paper is plastic, or you can do what I did, and using a craft knife, I gently score the plastic by half of the top to cut the plastic, but not the paper. Once I did this, I used my craft knife to lift the edge of the plastic and proceed to peel it off. If you notice that the paper is coming off of that part, that's fine as long as it does not read past the tab. Then proceed to put glue on the tab and bring the back and the tab together to join them as one. Let it dry and just like that you're finished. Now your CD looks dapper with its sleep case. Bye. 
And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training, either Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.